Good morning, BC. It's day two of Miracle Weekend, and we're live from BC Children's Hospital. Yes, we are here all day to show you the excellent care this hospital provides and to ask for your support. It is a celebration. Let's hear it, guys. Yeah. And it starts right now. It's the 30th annual Miracle Weekend for BC Children's Hospital here on Global. Another special guest here and someone who's really instrumental in getting the Tech Acute Care Center built. And we're really excited about their, uh, that. This is Dawn Lindsay, uh, chair of the BC Children's Hospital Foundation Board of Directors. You've been involved in this project as long as I've lived in Vancouver. It's great to have you and the family here. Why don't you introduce everybody quickly? Well, I'm here with, my, with Jennifer and my three daughters. And my youngest is Sienna and she ran in the, the run this morning. Nice. And then Jennifer, of course, Julia and Charlotte. Well, it's great to have you all here and to talk a little bit about your personal involvement in this. Why, why did you get so deeply involved? Well, I guess as with any parent, it all starts with your family and with three, three daughters uh, to worry about from time to time. We're just so thankful to have the highest quality care that, that's here. When I started, I didn't know if we'd ever need to use it. It turns out Julie ended up with eight broken bones in a period of time. But you're just thankful to have a, a facility that, that matches the quality of the caregivers that we already have, the doctors and nurses who are so terrific. So it gives you some comfort that it's here. Well, Julie, you're obviously enjoying an adventurous life if uh, you got eight broken bones already glad the hospitals here for you the acute care center let's talk about that and what an amazing facility that's going to be when it opens this fall yeah I think it's uh, terrific to have something that's really on child-centered health that it's going to have uh, private rooms for, for every patient so that the, the mother and father are able to stay in the hospital room with the child and we know just how much that affects the whole healing and the better results uh, faster healing with the child so I think that's going to be a big difference and then the other big aspect is that they have, they'll have uh, what they call curated purposeful art art that's been um, uh, with the input of the caregivers woven throughout the whole hospital and in, in, in a soothing you know, based on the beautiful, uh, soothing nature of British Columbia. And this helps reduce anxiety and, uh, and reduce perceived pain and just, again, gives uh, patients a better experience, which uh, overall, a better healing environment. This hospital is designed to heal. It's going to be an amazing place, and, uh, and the design is incredible, and I know that when it opens uh, in the fall, it's going to really help BC families. And we appreciate all the years, years that you have put into making it happen. October 29th, the first children will be moving in. And you know why I'm so excited about that? You guys, I understand that's your birthday, Chris. So yeah. isn't, isn't that fantastic? Excellent timing. Thank you very much for that, Don. Thanks, girls, for coming in and, uh, and lending your support to the hospital as well. Miracle Weekend is coming to a close. And what a weekend it's been. Time to check out the big total. All right, so everyone, here we are, ready to shout out those numbers. Let's do it. Here we check go. Check it out.
Here's hoping someday what happens for you And peace comes to you from above